Hello, I'm live. I'm live and unleashed. What do you think you're looking at, dogs? Shall we wait for a viewer or two? Perhaps we might get someone. It's a bit off the cuff, this. I think I've got a viewer. I can't see you at the moment. Something's occurred. What's occurring? Hello, everyone. I can't see your comments. Just thought I'd go live for a bit because I'm all alone and I'm desperately lonely and tragic. And all I've got for company is some vacuums and two dogs. Got this recently. You've not seen the full unboxing yet. It's a handsome appliance, I think. I'll just do a bit, bit of vacuuming. I've got something to open as well. Uh, right, how do you do it? Beast. This is a Vax VX3. It's sort of an oldish model that I got. I've had it weeks, I've only just opened it. Right, it's got auto cord rewind, folks. Unusual for an upright. Will it work? I've got a couple of things to show you. I say there's a new unboxing, just a little unboxing, um, and something else. Right. There we are. That's fine and dandy. Okay, as I say, I can't look at you at the moment, and you can't look at me. So, um, whatever you're saying, I'm afraid I can't respond. I might be able to do the thingy. I got open this. What a disaster this is. A disaster unboxing. A goblin handy. Perils of buying from eBay. Brand new and unused. Oh, hello, I can just about see you. Ruby. Evan, right, I can't see what you said. Anyway, oh look at that in the background. Ooh, I'm going to open that later tonight. But you're not. I'm not doing it live. You'll be seeing that whenever. That'll be a normal unboxing. Um, I open this brand new in the box, but the box a bit tatty. That's what I've had already had a refund for this. eBay just refunded me. PayPal did. Anyway, this might blow up. I'm a bit scared to put it on again. Anyway, it was it had dirt in it. This this is a Goblin Handy, made in Hong Kong, and it's from the 80s, I think. And um, I don't always fancy the look of it. I think Sam Becko 1987's got one. Anyway, so I opened it up, of course, and it was had been used. But the worst thing is, I turned it on. Let's see if it's going to blow up for you live. I don't really want it to blow up. It would be fun for the, the viewers, but... Uh, uh. Right, this is what a Goblin Handy shouldn't sound like. Oh, I'm brave. S hold it at arm's, at arm's length, right. Don't! <laughs> That's wrong! It's wrong! It shouldn't sound like that! What an absolute pile of poo-poo! And look! Dirt! Anyway, I complained. You know, I've, oh, it's ridiculous. Oh, I've got some other vacuums I could show you, actually, that I've unboxed. That Dyson, did you see that Dyson yesterday? Well, I've not heard back from the seller. Hopefully, I'll get those little issues resolved, because... Uh, I'd like to try that out. So that's, uh, I don't know what to do with that. I can't really fix it. It's not really worth fixing, is it? Shall we do the unboxing? Oh, it's all right, Molly. Molly's hiding. Right, I've had this weeks as well. It's not very exciting, but I thought I'll unbox it for you live. There we are, folks. This is exciting. Ooh, bet you're not seeing that yet. Um, what's this? Right. right, folks, any guesses? What's this? Well, I think it's safe to say that it's a vacuum cleaner. And it's one that I've, I've already unboxed. It's quite an old unboxing. I unboxed a brand new version of this on my kitchen table. And I was rather disgusted at certain things it was wrapped in. It was, a bit, it was wrapped in an old tea towel. Any of you know what that unboxing was? 
It's um, it's a Hoover handheld, and I think that was made in Hong Kong, and it's finished in a sort of a brown colour. Right, well anyway, I've got another one, but I didn't buy this because of the vacuum. It's because of the tools, and I think it's got some bags. Anyway, this should be, well I'm not going to say what it is. I'll keep you in suspenders a bit longer. Oh look, I've got, ooh, 21 viewers. See, I've not advertised this, so um, a lot of lot of you won't see it, but you'll be able to see it later. It'll be on my channel. Some of you might be out shopping. I don't know what else you'd be doing. Depends on where you're living, of course. Because in the UK, what's the time? I don't know, five something, is it? Uh. Right, let's have a look at this. Ooh. Uh, some bits, bits and bobs. Hello everyone, I'm sorry I can't, um, I can't really see what you're saying, so I can't really say hello at the moment. Oh look, <laughs> Many thanks for your fast payment, Mr. <laughs> with kind regards, Charlotte. And uh, <laughs> they've put that, rather bizarrely, on an old, oldie worldy postcard that could have been worth something. Oh, it's um, somewhere in Leeds. Oh, isn't that funny? I can't, it's, it says it's the electric, oh no, hang on, <laughs> it's not, I don't know what that, it says it's Swinton, but this was actually printed in a place called Cross Gates near Leeds. Funnily enough, my maternal grandma and granddad lived in Cross Gates in Leeds. What a coincidence. Right, we've got a bag, looks like it's a little bit mouldy. They're quite hard to get genuine dust at bags now, I think. We've also got a guarantee card. This won't be in good condition, like the, the new in the box one I unboxed. But like I say, I didn't buy this for the cleaner. I bought it for all the other bits that came with it. So obviously that's the nozzle. Now these are all miscellaneous parts that don't belong to a dust set. There is somebody, that's a bit manky, there is somebody on eBay, you know, selling one of these, and they're still selling it as a buy it now, and it's about £97. Mm, think a little bit of a mistake maybe, but they keep listing it. Optimistic. Oh, that's, uh, that's not in bad condition, what is used, but that's not for a dust set. Oh, it might be for the tools, because this is what I wanted this for. Tools. Right. Bubble wrap, more bubble wrap. Yeah, because, they, yeah, this is why I wanted this. I didn't want the dust set. These will clean up nice. In fact, they're pretty good condition. This is a genuine set of dust set tools. As you can see, it's got the pip fitting, so it will fit. I'll show you it's fitted. So it's a very short hose, but it just makes the dust set a little bit more versatile. So I think, yeah, I think all this should be what, this is basically what I bought this for, not the dust set itself. I think this is what um, would have been in the whole set. So you've got uh, Hoover's all-purpose nozzle, the crevice tool, extension wand, and of course the dusting brush. I don't know why they bother with a, <laughs> with a suction control on a dust set. Hardly needed, but anyway. Yeah, everything's fine. The locking locking ring is fine. So that's good. So basically, whatever I paid for this, can't remember it so long ago, it was worth it for those bits. We'll look at the machine, but also, <laughs> we've got an older dustette. I forgot it came with this. This is for an older... So actually, I have an older dustette that this, this would look okay with. So basically, it's new and old versions together. That's quite interesting, maybe. Maybe that's interesting, maybe it isn't. I'm gonna need my sticky stuff remover on that. But it's the same pip fitting, it will go into a dust set. Um, but it's the old, is it a genuine Hoover? Yes, it is genuine Hoover, because I've got the Hoover, the Hoover roundel. Again, you'll see. So that's that. And another bit manky wand. But no, as I said, I bought this for the 
this genuine. So when, when this is cleaned up, this will go nicely with the new in the box dust set. So here is the actual machine. I might get I might use this a bit actually because you know as I've got my new one. Yeah, it's not bad. Not as nice as my new one, but it's not bad. Yeah, it's got dirt. Dirt in it. Dirty dirt. Dirty, dirty Molly. Isn't it, Molly? Don't look at me like that, Molly. Daddy's just talking to himself, isn't he? Yes. I'm not mental. Ugh. Yeah, yakko. Right. So that's the um, the old bag. Yeah. Not a bad little cleaner, these dustettes. Even this one, which is the Hong Kong plastic version. Of course, they've got the lots of metal. I think the first dustette was a Model 100. Uh, I think I've got one of those. Uh, yes, can you smell that, Molly? Molly's making a live appearance. Daisy's asleep. You won't, you won't want to be hanging around, Molly. Let's hope this works, anyway. So, yeah, it's what's the wattage of this? So it says S1122, 150 watts. Made in Hong Kong for Hoover PLC. Uh, I bought one of these back in the day. Whoops, it's all right, Molly. And then this was the first colour it came in, and then it also came in a light look. I think it was a two-tone sort of grey, light grey, and a sort of a lilac bag. Again, apologies, I can't really see your comments. Um, I think they're being filtered if you're saying anything nasty. Hopefully that feature's working. I don't know if any moderators are there because I didn't tell you. Is it not on this off the cuff, as I said, right, it's off. Right, I'm going to do this live. I'm going to turn on the vacuum cleaner live, so anything could happen, folks. Ah. Let's lean over and plug it in. Right. Oh dear me. The bit where I always have my heart in my mouth, my my pulse is racing. Shall I? Shall I dare press the button, folks? I'll turn it that way around because it might puff out a bit of dust. Ah, well that sounds fine. She smells a dusty old dustette. She's got the stink of ancient dust. But we can now pop on the hose. Making the dustette even more versatile. Fantastic. You can also, of course, put this on if you want to. I don't like the look of that, do you? Doesn't really go. So, I'll put the black one on. Better for in the car, isn't it, with a hose? I don't know why Shark don't do that. In the UK, they don't provide. You see, Shark do a sort of hose like this for some of their cleaners, and we don't seem to be able to. I think, I'm not sure if I can get it as an option. But there we go, that's the old crevice tool. Have we got any muck? Oh, there's a bit of muck in this vax. Oh, not much though. Let's pop that to one side. Hello, everyone who's watching. As I said, can't uh, respond at the moment. Oh yeah, that's a bit, that's a bit iffy. Uh, why is that? Oh. Uh, I don't know, the things I do. I revealed to somebody at work that uh, I have a YouTube channel and vacuums and they said, Oh, you must have a really clean house. Little do they know. I said, well, no, it isn't. Also, I was, I was accused of having OCD by somebody, a commenter. Well, I've done some online um, questionnaires. I don't think I have got OCD. I might be slightly autistic, but even then I've done um, online things and it said I wasn't. But I was certainly totally obsessed growing up with vacuums as a young child, as, as a lot of my viewers are. And a lot of those um, children apparently have been 
um, diagnosed as autistic it's if you're sort of fixated with one particular thing and you know a lot about one one thing and for me you know I bored everyone with vacuum cleaners when I was a kid but now you know, I don't think I'm, I'm that bad uh, I find them interesting but I don't think it's an illness I don't I don't consider myself as you know I'm a bit odd but I'm not well, I don't know anyway I don't care I'm having fun. Right, let's see if it, I don't think it'll pick this up very well, to, to be honest, but anyway. <laughs> no, it's the hair, you see. Doesn't like the hair. We'll try it with this, a little bit more suction. Now I'll have to go over with the Vax. Oh, some plug that. Anyway, I'm quite pleased with that. As I said, I didn't buy it for this, but that's, you know, that'll clean up quite well. And I'll be able to use that and do some proper demos and then I won't mess up my nice new in the box one. So there's that, folks. Out the way, Molly, I'm going to chuck a box. Oh, you silly dog. Oh, come here. Oh, oh, that's Molly's backside. You don't know who's seeing that. Show your face, Molly. Look, there you are, live on the YouTube. Oh, Molly, oh, oh she likes this. Molly likes a good scratch here, don't you? Ooh, yes. Right, that's enough. Good girl. Off you go. Right. <laughs> Let's see what you're up to. How many people have I got? Oh, crikey, 29 folk. 29 folk watching. I'm recording on my iPad, so you can do live, you know. Do a bit. Oh, don't lick me, I don't like you licking. So the Master Lux, I'll be unboxing, well, I don't know, strictly tonight. I'm having a treat tonight, because tonight, I'm all on my own, and um, I like to watch Strictly. And Saturday night is normally sort of a curry night, um, or spaghetti bolognese, or something like that. So I bought myself a corn curry and I bought um, some of those little nibbly things and I'll have those first, you know, uh, what are they called, onion barges and the like. And um, I'll watch the Strictly show, won't we Molly? We'll say, sit on the sofa with a slanket watching Strictly come dancing. And if I haven't got this opened, I'll do it tomorrow morning. So this is factory sealed. Look at this. I've wanted one of these for a while. Don't get excited folks, I'm not opening it now. Um, so this is my third sort of Electrolux. Uh, oh, I've got one Electrolux 2-in-1, the Aqualux, which I unboxed. And I've got two unboxings of the Electrolux Twin Stream. And if you remember the first one, regular viewers might remember the first Twin Stream unboxing. Didn't go too well, it was a bit of a disaster because the whole thing fell to bits. Do you remember that one? And I almost said a naughty word in that video. Fortunately, the cell had another one which is perfect. I've yet to demonstrate it. I know, it's so long ago. So, I've always wanted the Master Lux because the Master Lux is a lot, lot better, apparently, than a Twin Stream because this has a separate pump. And, um, and this is definitely, the box is in pretty good condition, so I have high hopes for the contents. A little bit of damage, you know, water damage but it's old tape but that's the original tape and it's stapled so I'll be unboxing that you might not see this for quite some time folks I've got that many vacuums you haven't seen yet um, uh, let's I'll show you another vacuum that I've got uh, in the kitchen oh if I can get up just uh, busy yourself hang on can't leave a blank screen oh wait right have a look at that a minute. All right, I'm a coming. Don't worry, folks. I'm here. I'm here. Let's move the old master lux out of the way. I'll show you some other vacuum. It's not that interesting, but well, it might be. Right, so I'll see if I can pick up that with it actually. See if it'll pick up the rest of the dog hair. 
This is. Da 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 da. Dee dee dee. This is another. Supposedly, this was this was on eBay. Brand new, unused. Was it Buffalo? Brand new and unused. Definitely used, as you'll see. This is a Moulinex Power Star 1200 watt. It's interesting how it opens. Anyway, this is an unused vacuum. Well, they must have an awfully dirty factory if that was unused. Yeah, I found it with. Why don't people check? Check before you're selling. You know, they were selling it, you know, they were clearing out a neighbour, not a neighbour, a relative's house, I think, found it in the loft, in its box, looked in the top of the box, thought, oh, that's new. They didn't even, obviously, didn't even think to take it out of the box and look at it properly because it was pictured in the box. Anyway, I'm quite pleased with it. It's quite a little quirky little thing. It's probably from the 90s. Let's see if it picks up the dog hair. Probably won't. But it's made in France. It was a budget vac, but it's pretty well made. It's a nice plastic. It's not that horrible cheapo brittle plastic. Speaking of cheapo brittle plastic, I'm, ab I'm about to order for delivery. I might do it for tonight or tomorrow from Argos. I'm going to get a Hoover Enigma upright, you know, the pure power, because I fear, I think they're going to be discontinued soon, because it's 89 decibels, so it's far too loud for the new EU regulations, and uh, I thought oh, I'll get one before, you know, and it's £79, I've got a £10 voucher, I'll get it for 69 quid. Um, so I thought I'd get one of those. Oh, but this isn't bad. Um, let's see if I don't think it'll pick that hair. You need agitation, you need brushing action to pick hair up. I don't know if you can see it, but where's the on off switch? Oh, it's there. Although it's got these plastic tubes and they bend. I like a metal tube. Even budget vacuums now all seem to have metal unless they're really, really budget. Unless they're as the smart price, cheapo cheap. That's good, isn't it? So, sneak peek at uh, another vacuum, uh, a Moulinex. How else to show you folks? I don't know, I think that might be it. I have loads I could show you, but it means sort of disappearing for half an hour. Hang on. Oh, well you've seen this, haven't you? Because I unboxed, you saw this. I didn't really show you much of the um, instruction. I'll see if I can see what you're saying in a minute. I don't know how far it'll go back. Didn't show you that. Uh, it's a nice, um, it's a very nice uh, instruction book, isn't it? Nice big colour picture there, compared to... Can't, I can't recall what you get now with Dyson's. I might get one of those um, Dyson small ball... Not small ball, I've got small ball. Uh, but that's another story. No, light ball, that's it. Light ball uh, Dyson's. Because they're currently £200, and I think that's a good price. Well, I can get it for... If I go to Very, but they're currently out of stock, I can get a discount. So I think I can get it for 170 So I probably will get it from Very. Rather than pay 200 from Argos. la -de dum Somebody's... T small balls. Yes, the Dyson Small... I've got a Dyson Small Ball. I unboxed it, but I've not shown you, have I? I've not done it. I will be getting the demo done. Right, um, how am I going to do this? I, I want to look at your comments, but I don't want you to see my ugliness. Um, right, I'll flip. And I'll flip the camera. Can I? Can I? What's that button do? Oh, right, that's it. Oh, now you'll see my... Right, let's turn the camera around. <coughs> that's it. That's it. Right, I should be able to see what you're saying now. All your nasty comments. Right, hang on. 
Uh, there we are. So you've got something to look at while I'm going through. Oh, I won't show you my floor, Elvis, because um, it's a tip. I will at some point. You'll be seeing my new floor in, in lots of demos. And the washing machine's um, still the same. Right, where are your comments? Here we are. Chat viewing options. Oh, look, I can press super, super chat. Right, hang on. Oh, I've just pressed super chat and Vacuum Central has given me two dollars. Thank you very much. Um, right, I'm just trying to find out where I'm going to view your the rest of your comments. Chat viewing options. All. I want to see all of them. Hang on. Here we are. Right, I'm just going to see. I don't know how far it's going back. Oh, it's not going back all the way, is it? Oh, hang on. Maybe. No. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, there's lots of comments. You've been speaking behind my back, folks. Oh, I'm hecky thump. Oh, no, I don't want to block. Hang on, right. Hang on, uh, well, it starts at 17.37. Right, hello. I'm, I, I don't know, I can't get anything further. So, um, oh, you, oh, all you people with names I can't pronounce. Hey, oh, hang on, it's disappearing. Old you look 55. Oh, who says that? Well, that's very, nowhere near 55. Thank you very much for that. I'm not mentally ill. No, I don't think I am. Just a little bit quirky. Um, oh, Braden is that? Has OCD and there's a little voice in my head that tells me to clean. Well, I certainly, yeah, I don't have OCD because I don't have a spotless house and I can leave muck and I'm quite happy to leave it, you know, so I don't think I've got OCD. Gorgeous, m gorgeous moles, says Sarah Bailey. Hi, Bob Surrey. Hello, the dark slender. My uh, skits, mummy. My son says Molly has such a cute little face. Got uh, another video coming on Roger's bits and doings tonight, where where I show you up in the loft of my mum's new house, which will become a vacuum storage area. Right. Alex's life. Oh, on about Morphe Richards again. What's your honest opinions on Morphe Richards vacuums? Well, I've only really, I've only done that recent one, the cordless, which was pretty good. And I've previously unboxed the sort of shark based ones, which were obviously good, but they were, they're not officially Morphe Richards. Um, so I've not really got um, much, you know, opinion on Morphe Richards because I haven't really had them. I'm not, I'm afraid, home care systems. I will not ever, ever, 100% guarantee buy a vol... Uh, no, I've pronounced it wrong. Somebody told me how to pronounce it. I can't, I can't remember. Uh, Warwork or something, I don't know. I won't spend that money on a vacuum. If they give me one, I'll do it. But I'm not spending money on one of those. That is categorically 100% no. £1,500 for a vacuum, no way, I'm not rich. Some Somebody said I thought that I had a lot of money, but I don't. I've just found out I, my, my hours have been cut at work drastically, <laughs> so I'll be considered a part-timer soon, so I'll have even less money. Right, uh, Barry Neal, is that? Hi Roger, Leo. Hello Leo! He says he likes your videos and always watches. Carol Kelly, oh Shepherd's, oh I like Shepherd's Pie, Carol, but it has to have corn in it. Adam loves the Master Lux. Well, I'm I'm hoping to love it when I open it. Um, hello, Riley James Hammond. Hello, Kiwi Potato. Hello, Am uh, Amy Steck, nineteen ninety five. Daisy is well. Oh, Daisy, come here, quick. Logan wants to see you. Daisy, come here. Treats! Come here! She oh, you tip it. Come on! Oh, oh you can't see her. Hang on. <laughs> I'll have to hold her in this way. Hey, hey. Hey, Daisy. Hang on. Oh. There. Can you see her? I can't see if you can see her. You pretty little dog. There we are. Molly getting in on the act. Jealous. They get jealous. Right. Hang on. Oh, I've probably missed out on a few things now. It's moving too fast. Hang on, folks, I'm going to have to go down. 
Right, stop saying things for now, please, and I can get caught up. Uh, oh, hang on. Stefan Barr, I think all vacuums suck. Well, most of them do, but some blow too. Right. Hang on. Oh, I've lost, I've lost place, so if I've missed anything out, sorry. Kiwi Potato has a Dyson DC-19 and it sucks. I think it's a DC-19. It's nine of them anyway. Oh. One, oh, one of them anyway. Uh, hello. Uh, Amistec 1995, I like old Dysons. Well, as I say uh, in my last video, I'm sort of getting back into Dysons. Uh, another Dyson is coming. An oldish, older Dyson. Oh, well, an exclusive. It's a DC-15, the ball. Just like one I unboxed ages ago. And um, so I'm getting the old-fashioned ball. It's one Dyson that I've always liked. Kiwi Potato, do you plan on getting any new pneumatic to unbox? There is one in the can, so to speak. Um... It's a Henry type, I won't say exactly what, it's a Henry with a difference. Um, mm -mm -mm. Yes, Cars and Vacuum Cleaners, the Vax is also sold as Bosch, yes I know, and I think it's also sold as Siemens as well. I've seen it in Burgundy, I've seen it in a sort of a sandy colour too. Um, Elvis, Elvis TCB, I love your other channel with your mum's new house. is day two coming soon. There is another video on that coming later, as I mentioned. Tyler Bloomstran, you're very handsome. I don't think so. I don't think so, folks. I don't think I am. Uh, Crush, Crush U2D. Hi Roger, I saw a Vax cordless vac, not the blade one, for less than £100 in Sainsbury's. That's probably that other one that I've unboxed but not demoed. I've forgotten what it's called. No, I've no vacuums to sell at the moment. Well, only things in the palette. Uh, where are the Hoover Senior videos? Which I haven't really got any. I've got one sort of Ranger, but I've, got, I've no idea where that is. It's somewhere at the back of the garage. Um, hello, Saeed. I'm your biggest fan. Hello, Jay. Dad and Jake's videos, wow nice machine, I don't know what he's referring to, possibly the Vax, I don't know. Hello Ian! Oh, Ruby, I am the one that told you that you look 55. Well, thanks a lot Ruby, that gives me a great confidence boost. Perhaps I'll get that facelift. Yeah, I suppose so. I'll just not buy any vacuums for a year and just get all the work done that needs doing on my face. Ah, right. Hello, Robert Coxon. Hello, Liam Ringer. Ian's got the Dyson V8 Absolute. He loves it. They're a bit pricey for me. Oh, Vacuum Ad 8 has had a message retracted. I don't know if that's because he's been abusive. I wouldn't have thought so. Not Vacuum Mad 8, surely. Uh, uh, Karim, thoughts on Dyson Kinetic Big Ball Animal? Well, which one? Because uh, I've only got a cylinder one, which I've done a review on. I haven't got uh, the upright. I don't think I wouldn't get one personally. I think they're better to have a filter. There's people saying that they let dust through into the motor and the motors are failing on those. Um, who is that? I own... I own, know, is it? Love your videos. Bought the Bissell Crosswave after seeing your wonderful review and love it. It is a good machine. That I still like mine. It's just so noisy. I'm looking to getting one. Oh, e oh Crush. They're good, apparently, the V8s. They get lots of good reviews and they're a Best Buy and Witch. So they are good, apparently. But they're just so expensive. Will you do a shampoo video? Yes, I will be doing shampoo videos. Not just on the Master Lux. Oh. Skits Mummy, sorry to hear about work, that's never good news. Yes, but every cloud. Because um, currently, you see, I work early, early, I work mornings, I work 5 till um, 12. And I only do four days a week now. 
fortunately. But uh, my hour's going to be cut to 5 to 10. So I'm going to be home just as most people have just, just had an hour at work. Anyway, more time at home to play with my vacuums and make more videos for YouTube. So it's win-win. Uh, Jamie Elliott, is it safe to remove a suppressor from a vacuum? As my Electrox 345 burnt out the other day, I tried, tried it quickly without it and it seemed to work. Some people say yes, some people say no. Go and, uh, well, most people remove them to stop them from blowing up. Suppressors were from a time when we needed something to prevent interference of radio and television. Because in the old days, when you used a vacuum, it could interfere with a picture on your TV. Um, and a suppressor was designed to stop that happening. Well, now we've got digital TV, and digital radio. That doesn't really happen. So I removed the suppressor from that Electrolux upright and it's fine. Uh, Elvis, when is the video coming of the Oco power cycle in the AG? <laughs> well, at some point, there's so much to do. The next sort of, there will be a washing machine video coming up, um, but it's of the Indesit from my holiday cottage, and there will be um, a dishwasher video as well. Scar, hi, chat and Roger. I have been using an Argos value cylinder cleaner. I ordered a refurbished pneumatic vac after watching your channel. The difference in suction is incredible. They've got a good suction of pneumatics, even the low wattage ones. Very good suction. Right. Hello, Xavier. Oh, vacuum addict. Kyle wants to see the Vax VX and his Goblin Handy runs better. Well, my Goblin Handy is faulty. Well, I've done the Vax VX Vacuum Ad 8. You'll be able to see it again. I use it a bit at the start of this video. So you'll, this video will be watchable for everyone who's not been able to see me live. Have I done any washing today? No. Um, but I plan to do, I think the weather's nice tomorrow, so I plan to do some tomorrow. Some towels and possibly some bedding. What's my favourite Zaflora? Well, I don't really buy it much because um, I was using that at my mum's. Um, probably... I don't really like the really flowery smells. It's, I think the linen one is okay. Dad and Jake's video. Do you, do you know a good place to get vacuums, Roger? Well, I just get all mine mostly on the internet and I just search, I just Google and I just go on eBay for older ones. Um, Argos, it depends where you, what country you're from. Argos have often good deals. Very, I get a lot of vacuums from very.co.uk. But I get them from everywhere. I just go where there's the cheapest. You know, I just search and find the cheapest ones. Stefan Barr, what are your thoughts on water filtration vacuums? Well, I've only got one, which is that Bissell Hydra Clean Complete. It's not like a rainbow or anything. Um, I don't think I'd, I'd get one. I think they're a little bit awkward. You have to dry them out and it's, they're not really my cup of tea. Sarah's obsessed with Zaflora. Oh, well, you're the nutcase, Sarah. You shouldn't be obsessed with Zaflora. No, I'm sure you're not. You're not really obsessed with Zaflora. Tom, what have I missed? Well, not a lot, Tom Harney, but uh, you'll see what you've missed because this will be like, you know, this, you'll be able to see this later. Um, Joel Patton, why don't you do a comparison between the Vax Slim Vac and the Morph Richard Super Vac? Well, I want to, at some point, do a big. Uh, rechargeable vacuum comparison. It's on the list which will include all the rechargeable vacuums I've got. Tom Vacuum, hope your mum is settling into a new house. Yes, she's already spending loads of money getting things sorted. Uh, Dillon, I can't pronounce your surname. I have 11 vacuum cleaners now. I love Dyson's. Do you have any vacuum cleaners that are broken so I can fix it for you? Well, yes, that one I just I showed at the beginning. But I, don't, I think it's terminal. Oh, I've thrown it. There's part of it. <laughs> the goblin handy. Right, hang on a minute. All right, I've answered about the uh, kinetic technology. I, I don't think it's... I think I wouldn't be surprised if it's phased out, to be honest. I'm sure there's videos on YouTube that show... Um, and I've seen pictures of someone with a, a kinetic upright and they show the... Um, filters, the exhaust filters, and they're absolutely filthy, so then it's letting dust through to the motor. Uh, Bob, sorry, do you still like your AEG washing machine? 
Personally, I would have kept the Bosch. And I much prefer it to the Bosch. And yes, I do like it. I've still got it because I don't have that a that LG one. I did the test on. I sold that because I prefer, and it wasn't. I preferred the AG. And I especially liked the AG when I came back from the Lake District and had to use an awful intercept. So I do like it. Um, hello, Just Pumpkin. Shout out. I've been watching for a long time. Ted Clark. Hiya, we have several Dyson vacuums, but they're all too noisy. As our daughter has autism, need to buy a quiet one if that's possible. Can you recommend one? Depending where you live, Ted... If you live in the UK, I think the quietest one at the moment is probably the new light ball because it has to be under 80 decibels, but it's probably just about 80 decibels. So it's still not ultra quiet. You know, the ultra, ultra quiet. I mean, I've even bought a Hoover one that you've not seen. A silent energy, a newer silent energy. That's really quiet at 60 something decibels, but there's even quieter ones. That um, AEG cylinder, very quiet. Have you got a Dyson V6? No. How the DC94, the vac mat? I don't know what you're talking about. DC94? DC49? Hmm. Ali, why? What is Zoflower? Well, it's Zoflora and it's a concentrated disinfectant you can buy in the UK and it comes in all sorts of different fragrances. And I, I demonstrated it in um, my, my other channel. Roger's bits and doings. I've done uh, some house move videos and I was shampooing my mum's carpets and I put a bit of that in with the shampoo. Are you doing a Christmas unboxing? Possibly Elvis. This year, yes. But I'm not doing advent videos. I haven't um, the energy to do those. I'll be doing some special Christmas specials. Craig Leonard, don't like the kinetic dice and sent mine back and got the upright dice and light, which is quiet and still great suction. Very good on hard floor too. I assume you mean the new light ball, Craig. Uh, oh, I can't, I don't want to, I don't want to pronounce this wrong. Home, Homo O is that? Can't pronounce your surname. Hi, my son, Matteo. Loves your videos, especially Henry and Dyson. Please say hello to him. He's watching Canada. Hello, Matteo. I hope I've pronounced that right. Hello, Matteo in Canada. Right, Tyler. I need a vacuum for hard floors. Oh, what should I get? Well, yes, a V8 if you want a cordless. It's good, but the new Shark cordless, I've been using that a lot. I haven't done a full demo, but I do like that. Um, it's good on hard floors. It picks up the big and the small debris. Elvis, I have a Candy Smart Touch 8 kilogram 1400 RPM washing machine. You use your phone to add more cycles. Yeah, well, you could on that LG. I never tried that out. Uh, Dean Hunstuck, are you, are you particularly fond of your Kirby? Well, I've got two Kirbys. I'm never, I'm not really fond, I'm, I'm more fond of, like, dogs and things. I like, you know, I like the Kirbys I like. Well, I've only got two, and they're both okay. I've just bought a new brush roll for the Kirby tradition, so that will improve that. Um, but I haven't had them out for a bit. Slow mo drops. Do you know how many vacuums you have? I don't. I haven't. I, I know I've gone up because I've been a bit mental recently buying loads. So it'll be. Well, I'll soon find out when I get them out of storage and start moving them. But it is, uh, I don't know, maybe 250 now. Uh, when is the next Kirby? I don't know. I have so many other videos to do before that. Will you get a Bissell Versus? I doubt it. Don't think you can get that in the UK. Dylan lives in Houston, Texas. Oops. Dean, and one more question. Where can I find the wish list? Oh, I've taken that off, Dean. I've taken off. I don't, I don't do wish list anymore um, or PayPal me or anything. Um, you know, I've had a few things kindly bought for me, but I, I couldn't, you know, I felt a bit awkward about it, to be honest. So... Um, I'm, I'm quite happy to get free vacuums from companies and retailers because, you know, they, they have a budget for that, but you know, I don't know, it just felt wrong somehow. So, no, I don't have a wish list now. Northern Railways tri Train Spotter 1997, could you do a video, old versus new Dyson? Well, I could, at some point. 
What video's coming on Monday? I've no idea, but it, I'm afraid it's an unboxing because I haven't got time to uh, to do the full reviews at the moment. Robert Coxon, I've got an Indesit washer dryer and it's bleep. I can't say that word. It's not very rude, but I best not say it. Do you have a reasonable price washer dryer? I don't recommend any washer dryers, to be honest, because, well, I've, I, I don't, they're not as good as having a separate tumble dryer and a washing machine. Um, I don't know. I'd have to look on which, uh, but I think Bosch normally do quite well. Uh, Sarah wants another repeat of the Hoover Maneuver. Oh, I'm too old for that now. I'll have to take me... Uh, Oh, it's not cod liver oil. I can't have that anymore. Whatever you take for your joints. Logan lives in Orange, Texas. Vacuum addicts. Oh, I'm sure vacuum addict. You've got a lot of vacuums. Yes, yeah, you have a lot of vacuums. And you get them much cheaper than I get them. So you go to car boots and things. You've got, got some good vacuums for not very much money. Um, G I can't pronounce that. So GTIR, Pulsar. What's the best company carpet cleaner you recommend well a lot of people would disagree I certainly don't recommend Vax but uh, the current one I like is my Bissell Revolution that's the one I've, I've got currently and the one I use doubt there'll be any Vorwerk or however you pronounce it in the near future uh -huh. I said a bad word in my Maytag demo and review well it can't be that bad don't really say really bad words. Uh -huh. Would I consider a Hoover Commercial 912A? Well, I'd like a new in the box one. I have got a Hoover Commercial Senior coming up at some point that I got new in the box, but it's based, it's a plastic one. It's based on the, the domestic Senior with a cloth shakeout bag. I think the 912A is those big, heavy, all metal. I used to have one. The vac mat. I'm a cleaner in a commercial environment and use SIBO BS36 and a pneumatic. I've just bought, not that long ago, a SIBO BS36. Do you like ABBA? Yes, I like ABBA. Oh, I've come to the end nearly. Robert Cox, no thank you. I will try which. Well, yes, if you're, you can, if you're not a member of which, Robert, you can do the £1 trial and you, get, you can do it for a month and cancel it. You can get, you'll, get a free, you'll get the magazine but you can access their website, which is better than the magazine, and you can you can sort all the reviews, and you know you'll see. They're not always very good, which sometimes they get it wrong. Uh, we'll have to go soon. Northern Railways train spotter. I got a Dyson DC33, and the bin is very cloudy. Is that normal? Yes, I'm afraid it is. Very normal. You um, the bins on Dysons on most bagless vacuums because of the spinning action and you picking up gritty particles, it scratches the inside of the bin, which is why I said in my last Dyson unboxing that I'm hoping to get a, a, a used bin or something before I use my Zorbster, I don't want that scratched up. Um, so um, yeah, they scratch up. The only bins that don't scratch up too much are the sharks, but they don't seem to spin the dirt like a Dyson. Dylan, can I get a shout out? He's 10 years old. Hello, Dylan. Welcome. What do you think of the VAC 66131? The quality is pretty poor. It's good value. You can pick those up for around £80, but they're not, you know, I've done reviews, I think, on that one. Um, they're not good for carpets. Um, you know, they're a bit hard work. Do I still have Henry Extra? Yes, I've got all the Henrys that you've seen uh, and pneumatics. I've still got all of those. Will I get a Concept One? I'd love a Concept One, Logan. I had I had a Concept One power drive and a regular Concept One, the two models we got in the UK, but sold them. I had the, the regular Concept One from brand new. What do you think of Michael Jackson? Well, pff, he was a good artist. He had some catchy songs. I wasn't a fan, but I didn't hate him. Do I like Coldplay? No, I don't, I'm afraid. Slow-mo drops. Can I review the Black & Decker S with a light? No, because we don't get that in this country. I think it's very similar, though, to the Goblin Upright I, I did a review on, because people have sent me pictures of that, and it's, it's more or less the same. The vac mat uses a scrubber dryer. It's better than mopping. Anything's better than mopping. Have you got 
I think, got. A Hoover Telios Plus. Uh, I don't know if it's classed as a plus. I have a Hoover. It was. I've got a video up of a Hoover. Ooh. Eco G Telios, and I think that's. I think that's basically basically a Telios Plus. I'm not sure. What's your opinion on OEC? Well, they're lightweight, but you need ear defenders when using one. The vac mat saw concept one on a skip. Well, vac mat, if you left that on a skip, you're a nutter. You should have grabbed that and clung onto it for dear life. Dylan watches me every day. Thank you. Vacuum test. I'm very disappointed about Dyson DC40 MK1 versus Shark Rotator Liftway Pro. Well, I'm terribly sorry you're disappointed. Uh, Logan has a Concept One Heavy Duty. What vacuum cleaner brand do you recommend? Oh dear. I like Sebo as a brand, and I like Mila. It's hard. I like I like a lot of brands, and I like Shark for different reasons. But you know, if you're saying what vacuum cleaner would you say was going to be the most reliable? Well, I'd say Sebo, followed by possibly Pneumatic. Mila aren't as reliable as they make out to be. Um, they say they, they're tested for 20 years, but you see an awful lot of broken Mila's on eBay that are hardly a year old with broken motors. Right. Ruby, how come you stop replying to my comments on your vids on my old channel? I don't think I have. I haven't, I haven't commented on every, every comment. I try and get to them when I can. I, I haven't been, uh, you know, I need to catch up, but I don't remember not replying. Uh, ben, Review Karsha FC5 Floor Cleaner, I've never heard of it. I have got a Karsha coming up, a vacuum, it's not very good. I don't think Karsha will like me reviewing that because it's rubbish. Um, oh, VacMat was very young, just took a pick. Oh, never mind. J Media, I reviewed a washing machine for AO, the review was in for yesterday, but I uploaded the review at 4am this morning. Do you think they'll be okay with that? Yes, they will. I'm sure. As long as you've done one and you've written, you've done a written review on their website. Uh, Dake and Jack's, Jake's videos. We're starting a collection. We have nine vacuums. Oh, well, you'll soon have 90. Can you do a review of a Hoover Freedom cordless? Mm, no, I don't think so. They're not very good. Oh, saying that though, well, I, I've heard they're not very good. I might be getting some Hoover cleaners to review from Hoover. So I won't be paying for them. I, somebody got in touch with me from a PR company and um, she's going to get in touch to see which um, models Hoover want to send. Dylan, where do you keep all your vacuums, sir? At the moment, they're crammed in my garage in my loft spaces. They were, some of them were at my mum's, but she's moved house. If you check my other channel, Roger's Bits and Doings, um, today, later on today, I show you the loft of my mum's house, which will be boarded up, ready to store a lot of vacuums hopefully. <clears throat> Can you explain to me how vacuum tests, I don't know, you'll have to ask, why do you ask vacuum tests, uh, Braden? Um, he, how do you put a Mila head on an Electrolux? He adapts them. I, you know, I, as I said, I think I might have answered this comment. Um, he does things to adapt and, and fiddle, you know, blah blah, whatever he does. I don't like to do that with cleaners. If they're not designed to have one on, um, I like to keep my cleaners sort of uh, as original as they are. But, you know, Vacuum Test likes to try different heads on. But, yeah, you'll have to ask him how to do it. Oh, Jovan's missed most of the live show. Never mind, you'll see it all later. Robert Coxon loves his DC40 Animal MK2. Slow Mo Drops has three OX. Don't turn them all on at once, whatever you do. Logan, you are my favourite YouTuber ever. Thank you very much. And Sarah's delighted with her shock. Uh, fact, Matt, thanks for the shout out on your Hemi Plus demo. Did I? I can't remember. I've done so many shout outs. Carol Kelly. Got to go. See you later. See ya, Carol. She may have already gone. Oh, my, my legs are falling to sleep. Oh, hang on. Oh, cripes. I've been on for... All right. I've been on 54 minutes, folks. So I'll cut it at, at an hour. I don't think anybody will watch this again. Uh, Punk839, um, hi, love your videos. What washer dry do you currently recommend? There's no budget or budget constraint. I'm thinking Mila or Bosch. I don't know, to be honest. I've answered that um, earlier. 
Um, Miele should be okay. If you get a Miele one, try and get one that's got a 10-year parts and labour guarantee. They sometimes have promotions on, because if a Miele goes wrong, you will know about it. They cost a lot. Slow-mo Drops has 18 vacuums. Um, Ruby, oh, I thought you were mad at me because of my complaint on you posting vids when I'm in school. <laughs> well, no, of course I wasn't. No, I'm not, not mad at you. Don't know where you got that idea from. If You see, if I'm mad at someone, if I don't like someone, I well, I do ignore them and block them. There's, a, there's not many that I've done that to. There are a few in the vacuum world that I've blocked from everything and will never speak to them again. That's just how I cope with negative folk. Elvis, oh my, I've got pins and needles in my foot. What machine has J Media Review on ADO? Oh, what? I'm not sure what you mean. Whoever should bring back the Sensatronic as they brought back the Turbo Pound Feedem? Well, they might bring back a cleaner called Sensatronic, but it won't be anything like the Sensatronic. They do tend to reuse the names a lot, the Hoover. What's my day job? Oh, I'm not saying it's boring. But I'll soon be doing a lot less of it. What made you become a vacuum cleaner collector? I don't know. Probably born, hello Molly, I was probably born a vacuum cleaner collector. Logan, have you seen my vids? I don't know, possibly not. I don't really, to be honest, I don't watch a lot of vacuum videos. Where do I live in England? I live in Yorkshire. And I think that's about it. So if you've got any, are you mad at Alex's life? Are you mad at me? Do you like me? I'm not mad at you. Um, I don't really know you, <laughs> so I don't dislike you. Um, no, I'm not mad at, I'm not, I don't get mad at people for asking questions. I sometimes get a bit annoyed at some people, but I don't get mad, unless they're really nasty. And then I don't really get mad at all, as I say, I just block them. How do you become a vacuum tester? Well, just get a vacuum, get a camera, throw some muck on the floor. If you mean how do you get them given, you have, to, well, if you're in the UK, you can apply, apply to AO.com and you might get one, because they, they um, dish out free appliances to people. Would you ever buy, um, I can't even pronounce that, so no, <laughs> Punk839, don't know what that is. Please do a Bosch Arriva. Oh, no, the only Bosch that's coming up, which is another review that hasn't been done, is a Bosch, uh, that Bosch Bagless, which is a which best buy. It's almost an hour, you're cutting now. Goodbye, goodbye, Ruby. Yes, I'll, I'm going to leave at an hour. I've been 57 minutes. Oh, J-Media reviewed the Beko. Uh, I assume that's a washing machine. Uh, goodbye, Robert Coxon. Do you have Insta DMS? Oh, no, I don't know what that is. I have Instagram. Oh, Ruby's only leaving if I'm leaving. Well, I will be leaving in a few minutes. I'll leave her an hour. Uh, Dylan, I have two Dysons, a V8 and a DC-50, a Shark, a Eureka Ultima, a Dirt Devil Vibe, a Kirby G7, and a Bissell Power Force. How do you apply to AO.com? Can't remember how I did it. Just go on their website. I think there'll be a link there. I don't know if they've changed the way they give out um, freebies, but um, to get their product, you have to write a written review and you have to do a video review on YouTube to get to keep it and you've got to do that within seven days so go to ao.com and there'll be a contact us um, link and I suggest you write to them Bob lives in Yorkshire too good old Yorkshire uh, I sound southern but I am Yorkshire born Yorkshire ooh Bayek uh, what do I think of a Dyson DC33 I think I had one and it was that noisy I got rid Oh, goodbye, Jay. Thanks for the live video. Uh, Nathaniel Souls, did you do a rain? I'm not sure what that means. Uh, Logan, thanks for the shout outs. Goodbye, Roger. Slow mo drops. Electrox cleaners always blow up. Not always, Liam. Do you have any? Oh, do I have any rainbow vacuums? No, Nathaniel. They're not that common in the UK. Are Bosch and Siemens the same company? Yes, Bob, as far as I know, they are part of the same group. Northern Railways, Train Spotter 1997, you're the best vacuum reviewer on YouTube. Thank you for saying so. I wouldn't say I am, there's plenty of us out there. Tyler, do you know of any collectors that regularly sell vacuums? Well, if they're collectors, they tend to keep them. But sometimes they have, um, there are collectors on, I've noticed collectors recently on eBay 
there's a chap who calls himself Revu something. It's Hoover backwards. I think he lives in Scotland. He's getting rid of a few of his. Um, but eBay is, is the best place. That's where I think it is. You can always go on vacuum forums like on Vacuum Land and ask if there's a particular one you want. Right. Da, da, da. Yes, Dad and Jack's videos, my DC33 is so loud, yeah. Fortunately though, the new EU regulation, that's a good thing about reducing the noise level. I think 80 decibels is still pretty loud. Uh, right, bye Nathaniel, I'm going soon. Noah, hello, can you do a view on a Hoover Encore? Doesn't sound familiar, I assume you live in the USA. We don't have that model, because Hoover USA and Hoover UK are completely different completely different companies, they're called the same but they have different um, thingy magics. Oh god, there's Rusty. What's up King I Basic and followers? Hello Rusty. No, oh, you won't be on your tractor today. Oh Rusty, I've got a video coming up you'll enjoy I think possibly. Tomorrow on Roger's Bits and Doings I show you my mum's man cave. You'll be green with envy when you see it I'm sure. Uh, when, I don't know when my next live is because this I wasn't even planning this Dan and Jake's videos. I wasn't planning on it. Um, I know it was blocked because I blocked it. That sounds familiar. I know it's blocked because I blocked Ah, ah, Liam. Yes, I know where you've got that from. You've got that from that the Tomorrow's World clip, haven't you? The Talking Sensatronic. Uh, Elvis. Oh, I'm going to have to go, folks. I've gone over an hour. What Russian machine did... Did Jamie do a review for AO.com? I'm not sure. Just check it out. Noah, Edma, Noah Edwards, it's just a red hoover. Well, like I say, I've not heard of that one in this country, Noah, so I uh, won't be able to do it. Uh, Bob's DC07 almost pops his ear. That's what I hate about Dyson's. That, that DC04 isn't bad, but some of the Dyson's have been really noisy. Oh, vacuum test is warning people not to tamper and do what he does. Only use original nozzles. Well, if if you've got your own, if you want to try things, but be safe with electricity. I'm sure vacuum test knows what he's doing, but I've had a couple of shocks in my life, not for a long time. But before you attempt anything, you should really know what you're doing. Um, thank you, Vac Matt. Bye, Roger. Dad and Jake's videos. Oh, J Media tested a Beko WTG 1041B2W washing machine. The cake is a lie, says Liam. I'm not sure what that means. Right, that's it then, folks. I've gone well over now. I hope you've enjoyed this impromptu um, live doobie. There's a. Da -da -da. Oh, I can't do it. I'm on my tripod. Hang on. I was trying to do a nice sort of. Oh, it's a doodle. There. There's a Moulin X and a Vax. And that Electra has to unbox later today. Oh, what is the time, folks? I don't know. But anyway, it's time I went. And, uh, oh, I've left my thing open. And it's got dark outside since I started talking to you and all my neighbours can see it. Thank you. Um, is it Paulie? I will have a good day. What's left of it? It's evening here now, so I'm probably going to soon have my dinner and watch Strictly Come Dancing. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks, everyone, for your comments. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.